What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be talking about how to get your college degree, how to go to school while being active duty military. Now this is a video that's been requested a lot lately. I've had a lot of questions in my comments, in my DMs on how to go to school. Can I get a degree while I'm active duty? And the answer is yes. So today we'll talk about what you need to qualify, what steps you need to take to actually register for classes, as well as my thoughts on how it's been going for me. All right, so stay tuned. I appreciate everybody that's been watching. If I don't cover everything in this video, please make sure to hit me up, DM, comment, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned. All right, so before we get into the specifics, just a little bit of background. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while now, and if you watched my first video, you know that one of the main reasons that I joined the military while I'm in the Air Force was education, right? We know that college or going to school isn't a must, but personally, I believe that educating yourself in some way, being a master, whatever craft that you are doing is very important. It's just continuous improvement, right? So I think it's always important to learn something, even if it's not college, but the military does offer college for you, especially for my active duty guys, right? So I've been going to school now for about eight months. I study, I study cybersecurity technology. That's my major at the University of Maryland Global Campus. And I've done all of that funded through TA, okay? So the first thing we're gonna mention is what is TA? So military TA is the tuition assistance. And what that is, is it is a program available for all active duty enlisted members, officers, and warrant officers to do off-duty education, all right? You are given $4,500 per fiscal year, so beginning in October, to take any type of classes through university. They pay for 250 credits of a semester hour, right? And there are a few stipulations, a few things that you must meet, but that is the basis of what TA is. And then we'll go back and we'll cover those specifics again of what you need to do to keep TA. All right, so we know that you have your GI Bill, which you can use after the service, but military TI is used or is made for you to use while you're active duty, while you're still serving, and while you're doing your full-time job for the military you can take these classes off duty in your free time. All right, we have a lot of free time, or if you have free time, I recommend this is a method you take, okay? But going into the specifics, I'm gonna speak from the Air Force perspective because that's what I'm in. It might be a little different for some branches, but this is how you actually get started to use your DA. So when you come in, especially for me being Air Force, you'll have to go through basic, you'll go through tech school, and then once you get to your duty station, you'll complete your training, your on-the-job training. Where for my Air Force guys, you'll have to wait until you reach your five level, your five skill level, that journeyman level, before you can be approved to use tuition assistance. Okay, so once that five level has been approved, you're gonna go to a tuition assistance brief, usually just held by your education center. And that's where you'll officially be marked off to say, okay, he knows what tuition assistance is, and now he can be used and that's where they will approve that money to go towards. Mm -hmm. So you've done all this, you've got your training out the way, you've got your five level, you've gone to the TA brief. Now you can start doing classes. Now for my Air Force folks, I strongly recommend getting your CCAF, your Community College of the Air Force degree. This is an associate's degree recognized by the Air Force, okay? If you guys went through tech school, you guys already have a good amount of credits that have already gone to this degree. So all you'll need to do is take a few CLEP tests. And these are just uh, knowledge-based tests to say, okay, you know this and you just need these few credits left. Read this book and you'll go into taking these few tests and you can get those last credits you need to complete an associate's degree, which is great. The CCF is great because not only do you not got an associate's degree that's recognized by the Air Force, but you'll also be able to transfer those credits from your CCAF into a school for your bachelor's degree, as well as it's really looked at when it comes to promotion. So for my guys looking to get senior and below the zone or test for staff, 
those types of things are really going to be looked at. Does he invest in the military education that's been given to him? So I would highly recommend once you finish your training and you're ready to start school, knock out that CCAF degree. All I would do is go to my education center on base, go to the library and say, hey, what do I need or what credits do I have left to complete a CCAF? If you've done school in the past, you've probably knocked out a good amount of credits already. And you might just need to take one or two CLEP tests just to say, okay, I've completed my associate's degree. Now let me move forward. Let me transfer those credits into a bachelor's degree, okay? So we've knocked out your training. You've knocked out your TA brief. And you knocked out your CCAF, which I highly recommend. Next thing you'll do is you wanna pick the school. You wanna say, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna study and where will I study it? So for that, what interests you? What are you passionate about? And if you decide to leave the military, what is something that you can transfer and make some money with, you know, be successful with, be able to support yourself and your family outside? This is what you do. Like I said, I'm in the comm field and I chose to go with cybersecurity technology. I feel it's like a field that is not only very interesting to me and that I enjoy doing, but has a very relevant place in today's world. Okay, so that's the degree I chose. And I went to the University of Maryland at Global Campus. So choose your degree. You do not have to do a degree that's specific to your job in the military. You can do anything you'd like. This is your opportunity to better yourself. So it's up to you what degree you decide to choose. Okay, but now going into choosing what school. There are a lot of military friendly online schools. Okay, since you're active duty, you're probably gonna end up taking classes online. You can take night classes, but I know I personally and the people that I know that go to school while active duty, they're taking online classes. So there are a lot of classes or schools that offer military friendly online classes, right? And as we mentioned, your tuition assistance is covering $250 per credit hour. So for every, so if a class has three credits, that means they'll cover $750 worth of that class, okay? Now what you'll do, what you'll find is a lot of these military friendly colleges will give you a tuition or a class rate specifically that matches your TA, okay? So I know the University of Maryland, Global Campus, American Military University, Western Governors University, University of Arizona online, all of these schools and more will give you that $250 rate for your classes because you know they know that you're military. So when you're choosing a school, I would recommend looking at that list of military friendly online colleges and saying, I don't have to spend any money out of pocket because my TA is gonna be fully covered with the discount that this school gives me, all right? So that's one thing I would recommend. So you've chosen your school and you've chosen your degree. Now you wanna send all your transcripts. If you have well, high school transcripts, your CCAF transcripts. And if you've done any other school prior to that, you wanna send all of those to the university that you want to apply to or that you want to attend. You'll also wanna fill out that FAFSA form. Now, I know I'm talking briefly about a lot of things, I might make a separate video on a lot of these topics, but just to go over how to go to school while active duty, you're also going to fill out that FAFSA. If there's anybody that's went to school before, you know that that FAFSA is a requirement to go to any university. And what that is, is the free application for federal student aid. And what this does is they're gonna say, what is your current living situation? What is your current income situation? And how much do you need federal student aid? Now for my, active duty guys, especially my enlisted folks, our income will be in the bracket that'll put us at the place to say, we need financial assistance to be able to go to college, right? So your tuition assistance that's given you to, given to you by, the, by your service branch is only gonna cover that class and its credits. It's not gonna cover any additional materials. If you need to buy a laptop for school, all these types of things, if there's different programs that you might need to buy, none of that is gonna be covered by your tuition assistance. The tuition assistance is only covering the class and those credits. So this is where scholarships, if you happen to find one, or that FAFSA form, that federal student aid comes in. 
so I would apply. It's gonna be a requirement for you to apply, but like I said, because of our income bracket, being enlisted members is who I'm really talking to right now, your income bracket is gonna land you and say, hey, he's gonna need some tuition assistance. So you're also gonna most likely receive some money for federal, from the federal government to go to school as well, which is a great help. Like I said, to buy computers, to buy materials that you would need to go to school. All right. So that'll be uh, an application process and any leftover money, you know, that'll be sent to you. So that's that next step is doing that. And then after that, you're gonna submit a TA request. So you'll actually have to go through your supervisor. I don't know the other uh, portals that the other service branches uses, but for my Air Force guys, so go to the Air Force portal, you'll go to AFEC, the Air Force Virtual Education Center, and that's where you'll be able to make goals and you'll be able to make requests for TA. And I'll try to put a clip of walking through, try to put a clip walking through how to do that. Like your education center guys is gonna be your biggest help when going to school. All right, they're gonna be the ones that are gonna tell you what credits you need, what transcripts need to go where, what you need to do to get your TA approved, to get your CCAF completed. All of those things are really gonna be in the hands of your education center. Please use them, don't be afraid to talk to them. A lot of people might not even know what they do, but I would go find them on base, talk to them and say, what do I need to get into school? What do I need to start my bachelor's? How do I get federal assistance and things like that? And to know for the federal assistance, make sure that when you accept that money, you're accepting the Pell Grant. The loan, if you accept, you'll have to pay back, but that Pell Grant is given money that you do not have to return. All right. So that was the steps to go to school. And then you'll start classes, you'll register for classes, you'll have a degree plan and whatnot. But now we'll go into my thoughts, right? Like I said, education is important. You might not need college to succeed in life. I'm a believer of that as well. But like I said in the beginning of the video and I've said in other videos, continuously improving yourself, continuously learning something is great for you. And this is given to us, for our service members, is given to us to be able to improve ourselves. So why not take advantage of this, right? So that's my thinking. But um, the, the daily balance of going to school. Going to school while active duty, it'll take effort, right? You're gonna go to work all day, come home, and have a class. I have maybe a couple classes with homework, assignments, papers, projects. It's going to take effort. So this is something that you'll have to say, hey, I wanna be committed to this. I want to get my degree. This is a goal that I have for myself and I'm determined to achieve it because it's going to take extra work. There's gonna be late nights. There's gonna be times where you're gonna be hustling so you can finish an assignment before or after work. Right. This is time that you'll have to sacrifice to reach this goal. Okay. I started out when I first started, I took two classes off the bat. It was really two and a half. There was some uh, like introductory to the, to the university course that I took that really wasn't too bad, but mainly two classes. And at first it was a lot. I was struggling to really go in depth with all my assignments because I hadn't found that balance yet. I hadn't found that schedule. So if you guys are doing this, I would say, make sure that you have that time, okay? Make sure that you are setting a schedule for yourself to say, between this time and this time, for this month, I'm gonna be doing school because that's what I set out to do, all right? We talked about some of the stipulations that you need to keep your tuition assistance. If you fail any of your classes, you'll have to pay that money back to the DOD, to the Air Force, to the Army, to the Marines, whoever that is. You'll have to pay that money back, right? So you actually have, have to be passing these classes in order to keep using this tuition assistance. So it's on you to pass these classes, you know, to not have to pay that money back, but of course to, to set this goal, to finish this goal that you've set for yourself. All right, so I would strongly encourage uh, finding that schedule, right? You're gonna be taking on more work. You're gonna be taking on something additional. 
and it's gonna be worth it. But you're gonna have to put the time in, right? I did feel a little overwhelmed uh, at first, but I found that schedule, I found that balance, and I'm doing better because of it. I really enjoy going to school. It is a, definitely more work, but I, I love learning about things. Going, especially doing a job that was in my field, doing a major that was in my field, I've been able to learn a lot about what I do, and it's helped me at work doing my active duty job. Right. Yep. But that's that's mainly what I had. I'll try to throw in these clips of how to get to where you need to go. But that's mainly how to start your degree while you're active duty. I know we went through a lot of things really quickly. If you guys want to see other videos breaking down what the FAFSA is for military, what the CCAF is and things like that, let me know in the comments or just feel, please feel free to comment, DM me. I'm getting through my DMs, we're getting better at that. And let me know what you think. If you guys are already going to school, let me know where you go to school, what degree you're doing. And if you have any tips for anybody else that's been watching this video, please leave those in the comments as well. I thank you guys for watching and I appreciate the growth that we've had as a channel. We're going on our second year now, all right? And this is great, it's been great. Let's keep helping each other out, keep building this community. And I appreciate you guys. As always, one love. Thank you.